Dreis as a devout Muslim lady, State Minister for General Duties in the Ministry of Health, Sarah Pendi, entered the hospital at 10 a.m. for treatment. She was unrecognizable in the camouflage. On arrival, she was asked to buy an exercise book where she wrote her name as Adeke Shamim. The nursing assistant, identified as Namaganda Catherine, ordered her to pay between 5,000 and 30,000 shillings to access medical services, which the minister did. I came and sat there. You told me if you don't have 5,000, go, you will come back another time when you get it. But you had them. So when I paid you 5,000, that's when you checked me. Why do you have it? So you have official private businesses in the, in the government hospital. Patient came at that time we did not have the sweeps. The patient gave me those sweeps. This is the money I came with. Clearly, I had labeled it. I mean, I had taken the numbers and I gave it. I'm supposed to collect this money from patients. No, but even inside there, we have to keep it. So I told her I don't have the money. And then she said, if you don't have the money, go, you will come back when you get it. So I told her, I have 5,000 but for my transport. And then she said, okay, I don't want you to foot back home. You go, you will come back when you have the money. I cannot attend to you. She was later sent to the laboratory for blood testing. There, one Andrew Kalule, posing as a doctor, asked the minister 150,000 shillings to get the laboratory results. I am confirming the various complaints that I have been receiving from uh, various patients who come to this facility that there is a lot of bribery taking place here. If there is a silent deal going between the two people, you can't know. But the minister said to us to expose this rot. We are going to work on it. We have been fighting it. Upon receiving the money, Karuhanga Collins, the lead investigator in the Ministry of Health, told him he was under arrest. First of all, I would apologize. But the truth is, I thought I was helping out the patient. Because some of the tests we have them here, yeah, and some of them we don't have them. So it always, has always been at least mutual understanding between the patient and us. In this hospital are free of charge except in the private wing where we, we collect the money from using our cashier and outside that any collections done in any unit it's illegally done. The deputy director Naguru Hospital Chevambe Steven condemned the soliciting of money from patients. <laughs> this must be a real fight for the he, however, urged government to increase primary health care funds allocated to the institution. And, but I think many of them are about 300,000 shillings a month. They get a large allowance from the government, yes, which I think has become small now, it is 66,000 a, a month. Although services and drugs are free in government health facilities, it is common practice for medics to charge patients for the same. Nabakoza Lydia, NBS, Live at 9.